I started at Cake Television in 1963 and it was just going to be a summer job. That's what they told me. And it was an endless summer. At least a summer that's lasted 51 and a half years, starting right after graduation from Winfield High. Sheriff Thomason, can you give me a little bit of a background as to what the escapees have done? Through middle age. As Rhonda Schulding tells us how we turn ideas into stories. Now to 70 years old. Now one of those searches at a May school district building. When Larry Hatterberg finally says that's enough, he's ready for the next season in life. I don't want to look back on my life and say, what if? Hatterberg has worked at Cake TV for nearly the entire history of local television, covering stories from both in front of and behind the camera. His weekly segment, Hatterberg's People, has been a mainstay since 1974, sharing the stories of unique and inspiring Kansans. But what the picture can't show you is that Mariah is legally blind and deaf. I want to be the first deaf blind model. Lauren Wade of Winfield will be 102 next Friday, and he is still working at Walmart. I like the stories that lift us as a people, that elevate the community, that elevate the human spirit, and that make us better people. And there have been some stories that are just downright hard to believe. He lives on humanity's edge, that thin line that separates the creatures of the woods from the soul of a man. Like this one about a Kansan who has lived in a hole in the ground for 30 years. I don't know where I'd find a better place to live. Hatterberg says he'll never tire of telling stories like these. Inside, I feel 19. What is not exciting for me is to do three newscasts a day, day after day after day after day after day. And I'm sort of at a point in my life when there are other video projects that I want to do, other things that I want to do, that I can't really do while I'm tethered to an anchor desk and while I'm tethered to a television station. And if I don't do those projects at this point in my life, I'll never do them. His co-workers say Hatterberg is still at the top of his game. He's so creative. Co-anchor Susan Peters says Hatterberg's decision to leave Cake News is sad for her and a loss for Kansans. When Larry told me, because he told me before everybody else, honestly, I started sobbing. Although Peters says she understands. Television has changed so much. Your creativity is sort of reined in, and you know that. Um, and because you have to produce stories like that, like that, well, that's, that doesn't lend itself to creativity. And Larry is one of the most creative people I've ever known. How has the business changed over the course of your career? Yikes. Uh, it's a whole different it's a whole different business. Television is a very expensive thing to put on the air every day. And as a result, uh, you know, all of us, uh, Cake, wherever you are in the United States, you're probably owned by a conglomerate that owns maybe 30, 40, 50 other television stations. And when that happens, you tend to get lost in the corporate world. I'm hoping that the people who own the television stations in the future will look at it a little more as a community service and a little less as a business. While you won't see him on the anchor desk anymore, Hatterberg plans to continue to produce new segments of Hatterberg's people from time to time whenever he finds a good story to tell. He also plans to focus more on still photography, another of his passions, and start living life at his pace. His wife Judy says, Amen. It's a wonderful time. I'm, I'm, I'm just very happy. It's not an easy decision to leave a, the only job you've ever had in your career from 18 years old to my age now of 70 uh, is a big decision. I mean, it's a huge decision in my life. Uh, and I wanted to do it when I felt comfortable with it. A year ago, I didn't feel comfortable with it. Today, I feel totally comfortable with it. Though the change may come a little harder for Kansas viewers who will miss seeing this familiar face and hearing this familiar voice every day as many of them have their entire lives.
Thanks to all the viewers and my colleagues, you all have been my life. I am humbled and honored to have been a small part of your life for half a century.